This is a question a lot of people have before they leave and a lot of family members have when they find out a loved one is joining. Well, I am here to give you some comfort in the fact to know that the answer is actually very simple. Since we're on the topic of military mail, I want to thank the amazing sponsor of today's video, Sandbox. Sandbox is military mail made easy. They truly make the process seamless when it comes to sending and receiving mail at military training. Friends and family can send a letter anytime, any place with their mobile app, so it's super convenient. And once they hit send, the letter is securely printed and shipped, and there's even tracking on the letter. But another thing that is super awesome is there is even tracking on the letter that gets written back to them. I personally use Sandbox when I was at BMT. As you can see right here behind me, these are Sandbox letters. They have the iconic red, white, and blue stripes around it, so it is super recognizable. These are just a few of the very many Sandbox letters that I received. So as the military member, what do you receive with your letter? Well, of course, you have your letter, a message, your family or friend can even attach a colored photo, which is super awesome. You also get a piece of paper to write back on and a pre-addressed return envelope. So all you have to do is put your letter in here, attach a stamp, put it in the mailbox, and you are good to go. So it is super easy. Highly recommend Sandbox. Regular handwritten letters usually took about five to seven days to arrive. And with Sandbox, I received a letter literally two days after it was written which is crazy. So Sandbox does make receiving mail at military training a lot faster. Now I know I talked about them a lot, but not just because they're the sponsor of today's video, but I would still talk about them anyway because it is a huge tip to use Sandbox while you're at military training. Now to get to the overall answer of how receiving mail at military training works. How often do you receive it and when do you receive it? So you can expect to receive mail at military training about two to three times a week. Of course, this can differ if your leader thought maybe you all didn't do a very good job that day. They might be like, well, you're not being rewarded with mail. If I'm being 100% honest, some of you don't even deserve the freaking right to get this and read it. There's of course gonna be times like that. Maybe they were too busy to go to the post office, but overall about two to three times a week is what you can expect. Now it seems like every single branch has kind of a wind down time at the end of the day. So me being in the Air Force, we would have an evening brief. So we would go to the day room, we would talk to our NTI, they would tell us highs and lows of the day, if anyone had any appointments or if we had any questions for them. And once they were done with all of that, they would pass our mail out to us. But then the next important thing that you're probably wondering is do you have time to read and write letters? This is gonna be different for everyone. So for me personally, we usually only had about 10 minutes of free time in the evening, but then on Sundays, it was more of a relaxed day and that was kind of the time that we could write letters to our family. Uh, one of my friends in the Marines said that they had about an hour every evening, but that was kind of combined with, hey, get your stuff ready for tomorrow. And then if you have time after that, you can write letters. So probably for every single branch, you have that evening time to get ready for bed, get ready for the next day. And then you have a little bit of free time right before you go to sleep. So that is what you can expect from receiving mail while you're at military training. I know the answer was very simple, but it's still something that everybody wonders about.